I have me about a cup to three quarters of a cup of water in here. I have this pork roast. I'm gonna make some um, pork, um, what do you call them? Burritos, we're gonna make it in like a casserole form. So I'm just gonna put my pork in here to get it going. As you can see, it is frozen completely solid. That's how we work around here. The dryer is done. I don't know where my little wooden thing is, so I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna add some salt and some pepper to this. I was looking for my oregano. I couldn't find it. I'm freshly out, I guess. So in goes Italian season. I got some chili powder. Just a little bit. And of course, some ground cumin. Chef Jean-Pierre says, you need it at the back of your tongue. Just a little bit at the back of your tongue. Well, I like it all over my tongue, so we're gonna add right much. I have some lime juice that I'm gonna pour in there. And you can use fresh orange juice, which is what I recommend. I do have fresh oranges, but I am not doing it. So orange juice it is going in. About a quarter of a cup, half of a cup, whatever that looks like. I will have the ingredients linked down below. All right, so we are going to manual this for one hour. Let it cook. <clears throat> My pork roast is done. It smells delicious. I want to keep this juice, but I don't know what to use with it. So I'm a little on the edge about it. I was, I was thinking that I would need two cans of tomatoes and green chilies with an additional can of green chili, but I think I'm only gonna use one. And then of course I gotta grate up this cheese. Let me get some tongs to separate that. All right. Oh, it's falling apart. Okay, so whenever I showed y'all of me adding the ingredients in here, I forgot to add the vinegar. So I did open the pot and add the vinegar in. God, that's, that's some really good juice. I just can't let it go to, to waste. Look at that. Look how tender that is. Mm. Let me get some forks before I end up really messing something up. can't wait to taste this. It smells so good. One day we'll have smell-o-vision, you know? One day. Mmm. Yes. That has got some good flavor. Just the right kick. Pour a little bit of juice in there. It's probably too much, but it's okay. All right, let me open these and I'll be right back. I'm not gonna use this one. When you go get Caitlin, can you get some ice? How do you like the lemonade? It was good, but. It tasted funny afterwards, didn't it? Honey, I was eating chocolate-covered strawberries. I was eating pickles. Okay, think about it. I'm eating something sweet. So how's 
bigger uh, lemonade thing. We just need ice, Jacob. Just get a bag of ice, please. All right, let's put this in there, and then I'll open this. I did drain the tomatoes and green chilies. I think it'll just give it that extra, you know? I don't know what means, but it'll give it, it'll give it. <laughs> oh, me. I'm just going to dump those in there. I love green chilies. Oh, so, so good. tempted not to put cheese in these and do it without cheese I don't know I know I should probably I just don't know cuz I was at Taco Bell I know right I hardly ever go to Taco Bell just because I don't like the beef but they had some um, tacos what was it that I got a steak um, taco. It was really good. And it had rice in with it. I didn't Did y'all hear that? I didn't put, you know, cook rice to go in with this, but you could have rice as a side item with this. So I'm just, I'm not going to add cheese to it. Just because the flavor is so good without the cheese. I think it would be good if you just had some refried beans on the side and a side of rice. I, I just, you'll see, you'll see. I'm not adding the cheese. I know, I know. Probably saying add the cheese, but I'm, I just can't do it. All right, cheese will go back. Let me get a casserole dish. Oh, there's one down here. All right, so we're gonna take our salsa verde. What in the world? I can't get it open. Woo, that's a lot, ain't it? Now, doesn't this look good? Look at that onion down in there. Mmm, yummy in my tummy. All right, let's see. Get all this stuff out of my way. Get a little assembly line here. I'm not sure how many of these I'll need. I like to roll mine, fill mine up right much. I'm just gonna fill these suckers up. Put them seam side down, just like so.
All right, our last one's going in. That was fast. Look at there. Mm. And then we're just gonna nestle this over the top. And bake it in our oven, 350 degrees, until the tortillas get nice and crispy. See you in about 20 minutes. All right, here's our enchiladas. Don't they look scrumptious? Mm. Here's our pintos. Let's fix a plate. Guys, doesn't that look good? Look in there. Mm. I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> 